Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergerick Arcade at bergerickarcade.com and here we are with part one of Interfaces in C Sharp. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I've gone ahead at the beginning of this file and I've created an interface right up here. Now the first thing you might notice is that it looks an awful lot like a class and well it does. Uh, the main difference being, well, it's an interface and uh, not a class. You might also notice that our methods here are declared uh, but they're not implemented. You cannot implement any code inside of an interface, but you can just tell it what methods are actually going to be inside of the interface. And it's a popular naming convention to actually start all your interfaces with an I. Uh, this way here later on in your code when you are using an interface and you see that little I before it, you know that, oh, this was an interface. One other thing you might notice is that we don't have any access modifiers in front of our methods. So there's no public, private, or protected, or anything like that that you put in an interface. By default, they're all public. We talked before about how classes were a blueprint for an object we wanted to create. So think of an interface as a contract for a class on what methods we're actually going to put into that class. So these methods for any class that implements this interface, uh, they're going to have these methods in it. Uh, not necessarily only these methods. We can have other methods besides this, but they have to have these. Now, just to get the terminology correct, uh, a class can inherit from another class, uh, but when it comes to interfaces, you don't inherit from them, you implement. Uh, so you might be wondering, so what exactly do we do with this interface? Uh, one thing you'll want to point out is you actually can't uh, instantiate an interface. So if we actually came down here and tried to make uh, an IA animal, I'm just going to call it AN, is equal to new IA animal. And if we go ahead and try to run this, uh, you notice we're getting an error here and it says cannot uh, create an instance of the abstract class or interface I animal. And I believe if we actually hover over this in model develop, it should pop up as well. There we go. So again, how do you use this? Well, you're going to go ahead and actually create another class. This will be our first example. And I'm just going to call this class animal. Call it whatever you want. Uh, in this example, it will be an animal. And it's actually going to inherit from iAnimal. Or sorry, there we go. I called it inherit, but it actually implements iAnimal. And like I said, we have to implement all of these functions. And there's a couple ways you can do it. There's just a couple of them. You can actually come in here and go ahead, you know, like, you know, public string speak, and then put the code in for it. Uh, there's a couple of other ways too, depending on the IDE that you're using. In model develop, you can just right click on the uh, interface that you're going to be implementing and there's two options you can do it explicit or implicit if you do explicit and we'll hit enter you'll notice that it creates the methods for you and it sticks the actual name of the interface in front of it as well now this can be handy i guess if you have a lot of interfaces going on uh, for something simple i prefer the other way so i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and i'll right click again and this time i'm going to implement explicit or implicit sorry and here we go. It looks just like a regular function. I generally like these a little closer. And I like it like this. Uh, there might be a way to set this up in MonoDevelop ahead of time. All right, so there we go. We actually have our methods put in there for us automatically. And if you look, they're all made public. You cannot go ahead and make them private if you tried. And then went to run it. You're going to get an error here that says animal does not implement the interface member. Uh, there we go. Not in or in not public. So we'll go ahead. We'll make this public again. And if we go and build it, nothing exciting is going to happen. It's just it gets built. It comes down to hello world, which is just in our main class down here. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually do something with this. We'll take a look. We have these lines down here that are automatically put inside of our methods for us. And what this does is when this method is called, it's going to go ahead and throw an error, basically saying that, hey, we haven't actually put any uh, code in here. So it's, it's really just a reminder to tell you that, hey, you, you haven't done anything here yet. So let's come down here and let's make an instance of animal. So animal. AN is equal to new animal, nothing new there. 
And then in console right line, I'm actually going to go ahead and let's go ahead and grab the string on here, speak. Great. So let's go ahead. We'll run this, see what happens. And sure enough, we get that exception being thrown. So we'll just go ahead. We'll close that. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to do a return. And I'm just going to return a simple string. Let's get rid of the throw command. And we'll put hello world up here. Everyone should have a hello world program. And I'm not sure why I have an equals thing. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. And let's see, everything's okay. So let's go ahead and run it one more time, see what happens. And we're back to hello world. So let's go ahead and just quickly fill out the rest of these methods here. So here I'm just going to simply return a, uh, I don't know, let's just return true. I guess we really should change the name here. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're just going to return a Boolean value here. And here, let's do something a little bit different. Instead of, uh, since it's the void, let's actually go ahead and I'm just going to copy the right console line and put it here. And of course, we'll just put a string in here. I am walking now. There we go. And we'll add a few more function calls down here just to call the other two functions. And well, I guess we don't really need this third one. We're just going to say and dot walk. And this one will be sit. And now we've called all of them. So let's go ahead. We'll run this. And sure enough, we get the hello world because this is the string that's returned from up here. Uh, we get true because that's what's returned here. And of course, on the third one, I'm just calling this line up here. And uh, there you go. Basic implementation of an interface. Uh, they do get a little bit better, and we'll cover those in the following tutorials. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.